Hey folks, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Here's a very powerful yet simple practice strategy. Alternate between listening and playing a small piece of music. This is a great way to develop your ear and get better at something, learn something more deeply. So let's start with a very simple beginner example. Say you're trying to play A3 in tune, that's a D note. And what you could do is play a D drone, listen to it, and then play that note. It's very simply. Make any adjustments you need to make. So say it's flat, do your best to adjust it. And then even if you think you got it in tune, pause and let the play along track keep going. So we're using a D drone play along track. Just listen to it. And then play that note again. Just listen. So in that period while you're listening, your brain is unconsciously learning, soaking up information on uh, using this pure reference tone, all right? So even if you don't consciously know you're playing it better in tune or not, your brain is making adjustments. It may be hearing something's off here. And even if you don't fully know that you're correcting, you're gonna to start to correct if you do this practice of alternating between listening and playing something. Same thing will ha happen with more complex things. We'll do another example. But if you, your brain will start to really learn just by being exposed to w what a proper example is, your brain is, is gonna, gonna be like, okay, we're trying to get here. Even if you don't pick up on it consciously. Okay, I think you get the idea. So this will help you to develop your ear and learn things more deeply. So, and the great thing is anybody could do this, any musician. If you're playing piano, you could do this. You just listen to a little bit what you're playing and then play it on the piano. Listen and then play. And a great practice is to do that in a continuous way. So we could do that with play along tracks. And let's do that with the tune Lazy John. So on the Fiddlehead site, we break down tunes, which are more complex, bigger musical things into small little practice pieces with I call learning chunks. There's tabs, sheet music, and audio. And then we cycle on that one little thing until you master that one part. And what, whoever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you take this idea, I call it micro practice. It's also known as deliberate practice, but I look at it a little differently. Anyhow, you take this and deeply learn anything you're learning. You could even do, do the basic idea with learning a, like a sport. Anyway, I don't want to get off track. Let's get back to, let's get back to Lazy John. So say we're practicing the first quarter of, or the first half of the A part. Maybe without the play along track, work out the details. Maybe you need to work on the transition from D3 to A. Just kind of work out the big kinks and be able to play it in a basic way. And once you get to that point, we can do this practice using a play along track. So I'm gonna play it on a little speaker and we're gonna alternate between listening and playing the A part uh, first half. I'm gonna listen. Now I'm gonna play. Simple, right? But very powerful. And so on. The Fiddlehead site is set up to do this practice quite easily. So if you're already a subscriber, great. Just jump in and try it with whatever you're learning. But if you're not, or if you are learning a tune that I don't have on the site, you can still do this practice. Here's how. You can use apps such as the Amazing Slow Downer or Any Tune or even video looping apps to do the same thing. And basically what you would do is you would 
let's say you have a recording of a tune it's in your library and you just plug it through the the app the amazing slow downer is what i use and then you find that part that you really need to practice and loop on that and then so and, and as if you follow fiddlehead you know that i'm crazy about looping i think it's one of the most powerful things that any music student can do and that will accelerate your learning but anyhow, so you loop on whatever part, you, you just use an app and do the same exact practice. I don't have it, the tech stuff pulled up for it, but I think you get the idea. It'll work the same way. So the apps, I'll put links to the apps below for you guys, okay? So, so, it, so that's an example of how to do this on Lazy John. You can even do the practice on things like note reading. So. It, let's say you're learning to read music. What you can do is you can listen to an example, look at a little bit of the sheet music, and then, and then the next time through, play and look, and then pause and listen and, to the music and watch it, and then pick up your fiddle, play the music. The more you do it with a play-along track, the better, okay? And I'll just close by saying that this idea of alternating between listening and playing is what I call a practice loop. In a nutshell, practice loop is the alternation between something somewhat easy and something more challenging. So in the case of listening and playing, let's say you're learning something hard, you kind of give yourself a little bit of a break. You, so it's a little easier, you just listen, let your brain unconsciously learn and then you go for it, you, you play the challenging thing, and then you take a step back and you listen. And that time in, in, in the practice loop when you do the easier thing is a time to reset. It's a time to kind of connect with your body and relax, and then you can go for it and do the harder thing. Does that make sense? Okay, so I have some other lessons you can take related to this. A lot of them are free blog posts, so the one on practice loops I'll link in the description and that's about it so give it a try and if you discover anything even if you, you find that you like it or even if you find that it's not helpful let me know because i'm always trying to improve the approach and so i've learned a lot from you guys and your comments so keep them coming well that's about it thanks for watching now go play some practice loops with alternating between listening and playing you got this so long. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video club. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.